North Carolina Prepper here. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to go ahead and set up something called a dead drop. Basically, it's uh, unclouding your computer on the USB or USB uh, file sharing. So what I'm going to do is take this uh, jump drive here. This is a four gig one, and I'm going to go ahead and pull it out of its shell. And then we're going to take and implant this into a crack or crevice in a public place for file sharing or dropping messages to whoever. Um, it's anonymous file sharing. It's called Dead Drops. You can look it up on the web. I think it's probably deaddrop.com maybe. Not not drop dead, but dead drop. So we'll go ahead and pop this thing apart. And we're going to go ahead and take the actual uh, the actual chip out of here. Just to a minimum, then we're going to go ahead and find somewhere and attach this somewhere into a, um, like a building or something. But it has to be publicly accessible. So let me go ahead and tear this apart, and I'll get back to you in a second. And pause this while I mess with this. I don't want you to see me stab my hand. All right, right back. Okay, I got this thing apart. And, you know, there's no holes in my hand, so that's awesome. Basically, I put a line across here on the top because I don't want to have another incident of somebody installing one of these upside down and you got to hold your laptop upside down to get to it. Well, that's not focusing, but whatever. Let me see if I get this focus for you guys. There we go. So, <clears throat> basically, let's pop this the rest of the way on out. Disregard all that. And let me take my tape here. Right back. Gotta go find my tape. Okay. Um, I was going to wrap this in in plumber's thread tape and then uh, regular electrical tape in order to seal it up and make it as waterproof as I could with just exposing up to the, the line here and waterproof it. But I came up with a better idea. Electric, liquid electrical tape. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this on. It'll be absolutely waterproof. I've used this in several of my caches. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and take care of this. And then I'll be right back after I get all this done. I'll be right back. Let me go ahead and stop this. Okay, so here it is. All finished. That's so, all as you can see all sealed up for the from the elements except for you know maybe this part, but we'll just gotta stick this in some brickwork or some something maybe under a table or somewhere we'll you know maybe two phase tape, maybe we'll take and use some like cement or expanding wall filler or whatever. And then I'll make a, a video of me planning it and uh, you know, I'll put some I don't know, I'll record some guitar or some banjo or whatever I did or some public domain and you know it'll be kinda of interesting you know I'll see what people put on it and uh, messages I like to put a log on it and use it like a geocache that's probably the best way to do a dead drop and then they can edit the file with their name and their uh, or their handle or uh, the date and uh, yeah I'll do that tomorrow and set it up um, or I'll just add it to this one. I'll upload it all this one video. But we'll go ahead and put this in. So a dead drop drive. I'll I'll let you guys know where I put it at and pictures and the video. So you can plug your computer into it. Just back your laptop up to it or your MacBook Pro or whatever. It'll be a simple text file with just a uh, explaining saying, you know, please sign this log. And if you're a geocacher, put your geocache name or whatever. And there you go. So. That's a USB uh, dead drop for sending messages and signing logs or, or whatever you want to do with it. It doesn't matter. But it's watertight and we'll put it in there. All right. Um, I'll be back after I or when I plan it. Okay. Um, searched all around Raleigh yesterday and I couldn't find a, a bad building that had a crack or something I could stick this into where people conjugate or congregate. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do is I went out and bought a lock. And I'm going to take and JB weld it onto there like this. 
So then I can just put this on chain link fence or, or whatever and uh, do it that way. So I figured that'd be easy enough to do that. I'll just uh, pop this band off, I guess. And then I'll go ahead and you know, get some JB Wells and uh, go ahead and hook it all up. So let me be, let me go ahead and do that, and then I'll be back with the finished product, and then we'll go out and hang it or attach it somewhere. All right, it's all done. It's all set. It's all hard now. So we can take our USB, and if I had a key somewhere, here we go. I can take and just lock this wherever I want. If I can open it. There we go. I can just put this on a chain link fence or anything I want to lock it to. And uh, have it there. And on the drive we could have a, you could bring an adapter if you want to use a tablet. Or most people just use extension cables, USB extension cables. On. But basically you could just lift it up and just plug your laptop right into it. Or um, anything really. And you can share your files. If you're an artist and you have public domain, you can put it on there and get your, your songs out that you, you own. You know, don't use this for anything nefarious or anything, but <clears throat> you know, you can use it to leave messages. Um, if you Google um, USB dead drops, you can see where this comes from. This idea, there's a lot of artists do this. I believe the guy in started it was some guy in uh, France or no Germany when he visited New York. So it's just something fun to do. <clears throat> you know, like share files. I'll be interested to go back in a, like a week and see what's on here. Um, I'm going to probably drop it off at a local Starbucks and just link it to something. Uh, the manager said he didn't care, so we'll go ahead and do that. I just didn't have any way to cement it to a building. He's okay because it's non-permanent. We're just going to lock it to a table. <clears throat> so, there we go. That's North Guy Prepper. This is a USB dead drop. Um, and because it's going to be publicly accessible, that's why, we need, that's why we're going to put on lock and secure it. Normally you just do it like a despise back in the days and just do a regular dead drop messages and stuff. This is more complex, but it's it's a fun thing. So we'll see who signs the log. I'm going to put it on geocaching.org. It's going to be called USB Dead Drop. <coughs> and um, we'll see who does it and, you know, what I put on there. And see so who does it and see who signs the log. All it's going to have is a log saying that it'll be a little text file that says this is a USB geocache you know please just add your your uh, name or username of the date you found this cache and that's the gist of it and we'll see what happens we'll check in a week or two like I said and see what happens but I gotta set up a geocaching account and do all that good stuff I'll do that tomorrow but there you go uh, please rate and subscribe and He's give me some better ideas on fun things, fun projects. All right, please take care. North Carolina Pepper out. I wanted to um, add a quick addendum here. Um, it would be very possible for someone to put an auto run virus on this, someone to do malicious things to people. So you have to take it with a grain of salt. I look at it about the same risk as going outside during a flu pandemic. And you know, most people aren't going to see this, and when they do, it'll be spur of the moment anyway. But there are risks involved, and you should know that. There could be an auto run virus someone puts on here. Like I said earlier, this is a computer version of a glory hole. <laughs> but um, I think you can hold down shift to stop auto run, but uh, there's just, just that. there could Someone could put a malicious virus on here, or ruin it for everybody, but... These are the risks you can take, you know. There are there are steps to take, but they're more in the computer field. But I don't auto run when media is inserted in my laptops or tablets or phones. You know, it just depends. I'd probably check it with an Android app. Those viruses will probably be for Windows or Microsoft. But that is something you need to consider when doing this project. There is a possibility that someone could put malicious uh, software or virus on here or something. So. That that's something you need to consider if you want to ever plug into one of these. Um, I for one am not worried about it. Um, it's an old laptop I'd check it with. 
that doesn't really have anything on it or even an internet connection. It's a, like a 486. You know, so okay. I just want to make that comment real quick that there there are risk to uh, the user to use something like this. You know, if you're going to go geocaching with your USB geocache or dead drop or whatever, but there's a risk. Okay, that's all I want to say. Uh, North Carolina Prepper out. Please rate and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.